Hi there, everyone. Rob here with today's Western Pacific weather update. And we have a lot going on today, so please bear with me. I'm going to try to uh, cram as much information into a short time period here. But out across the Western Pacific today, we are watching a super typhoon, a guchul. That is what this update is really going to be concentrating on. But also, I want to touch in on our new tropical depression forming up here just towards the east of Hanine. Uh, the Japan Meteorological Agency has upgraded this to a tropical depression. If you look on uh, their weather map with the analysis, at 1700 Universal Time. Actually, there is a tropical depression noted right here. And also you have our super typhoon. Uh, JMA is not warning on the system. I do think it's going to be a non-event, but already it has been bringing in heavy rainfall uh, towards southeastern China, even over towards Hong Kong, where flood warnings have been issued. So this definitely could be bringing some localized flooding, but nothing in comparison to our super typhoon here. So let's zoom in on this storm and see where it's going to be going next. Since at least at this time, the uh, Joint Typhoon Warning Center actually has it at 130 knot sustained winds. Uh, that's over a one-minute wind scale. 100 knots sustained winds by the Japan Meteorological Agency. A 30 knot difference, but regardless, still a very, very intense storm system. Now, these max winds are right around the center of circulation in this area right in here around that eye wall. But you also have some very good banding coming around this storm as well. It is very well organized, thus, and has been upgraded to a super typhoon by JTWC. JMA still holds it as a typhoon, but it's a very strong typhoon at that. And it is expected to continue to get stronger. And one of the main reasons actually here is because you have very, very warm sea surface temperatures under the system, a low vertical wind shear, a mesocyclone is developing aloft above the storm system, so it's allowing for very good outflow aloft, but also coming into play right now is an eye wall replacement cycle. What happens here is this original eye wall, you can see right in here, this is going to start to break down and basically weaken, and then a new eye wall is going to be forming up, and you can actually see it in the last several frames, wherever I'm drawing here, you can see a new eye wall forming up here. So once this uh, inner eye wall breaks down, the new eye wall forms up. This storm is expected to continue uh, to intensify. So expect a very short weakening of it, but then expect it once again to start to regain its strength as it does continue to push off here towards the north. Now, uh, where's it going to be going, though? That's really the big question, and unfortunately for those of you in Okinawa, you definitely want to be watching this very, very closely. At this time, it is tracking north along the western periphery of the West Pack Eye out here towards the east. You also have this trough, the rainy season front, that's lingering here over uh, southeastern uh, China, even extending out here towards Japan, where you had some widespread rain showers in the Kanto region just yesterday. This storm's really going to get caught up with that troughing and push off here towards the northeast along the northern periphery of that West Pack High. So uh, for those of you in Okinawa, southern Japanese islands, even off towards Osaka and eventually Tokyo, definitely need to be continuing to watch this ever so closely. But let's look at the model outlook and see where exactly this will be affecting these areas. And at this time, at least a very good consensus that the storm is going to be remaining well east of you there in Taiwan. But unfortunately, it has been wavering back and uh, across Okinawa here the past several days. That's the uh, really the consensus. And regardless, if it does go just east of Okinawa or directly over it, you're still going to be getting some typhoon strength winds. It does look like that is very likely going to be the scenario at this time. I don't think that the storm is going to move far enough away where Okinawa is not going to be getting these typhoon strength winds. So uh, really at this time, the biggest uh, threat or the biggest question is, is it going to go east or towards the west of Okinawa? And at least according to the Joint Typhoon Warning Center out of Pearl Harbor, they actually have it running right directly over the island here. Now, if it does waver a little bit towards the west, this would put Okinawa into the right front quadrant. Very bad news. In that case, storm surge would definitely be uh, very high along the southern periphery of the island here. And if it goes a little bit towards the east, storm surge would likely go down. Winds would also be uh, very likely reduced as well. But at least at this time, uh, the Joint Typhoon Warning Center does have it going directly over. If we look at uh, the Japan Meteorological Agency, though, the storm tracks here just uh, towards the east of the main uh, southern Japanese islands here. So uh, that would be a very good news. But unfortunately, uh, due to the wind field of the storm, it's very large and very intense. You're still going to be seeing those very damaging winds. So just like I've been saying the last several days, if you haven't watched any previous updates, please 
uh, do go outside and take care of any loose debris that you may have uh, laying around anything out on your balconies or if you, you have any yards out here do take care of all of that material because that could eventually cause a life-threatening scenario and also uh, for example you do have something uh, a pipe laying on the yard that gets up that is going to be one more thing that is potentially bring in uh, some damage to people out here so always help out each other and do take care of all these, these objects uh, good news though is that for most of Okinawa here and all the southern Japanese islands for that matter a lot of the buildings out here are reinforced so that should prevent uh, any significant damage as the storm does blow by we always watch these storms usually the biggest problem is going to be coastal flooding due to the storm surge so anybody living near the immediate coast you do want to be taking those extra precautions uh, as far as uh, the rest of Japan, though, I, I've been seeing a lot of comments on the internet about the radiation uh, scenario out here. I can tell you that here in Tokyo, no one is really too worried about that at this time. Actually, no one's too worried about the storm in general. It, good news, though, by the time it starts to get up to Tokyo, it is expected to start to go extra tropical. So really, uh, not too many people up here are uh, too worried about it. It is going to be rather windy and a lots of rain are going to be coming out of this obviously actually up here at NHK this week I'm going to be trying to do some in the field reports as the storm does go by so you could be checking me there out as well might be out in the rain here but uh, the good news I don't think it's going to be very life threatening at least across the Kanto area and as far as the radiation uh, it, Fukushima has been uh, decreasing in the amount of radiation it is releasing into the atmosphere uh, once the storm does blow by it likely will not be any worse than any other westerly storm that blows by all the time. You actually have the rainy season front over top of Fukushima Daiichi uh, raid in this area. So uh, with that said, it, it really is not going to be, it's going to be a non-factor, I would say. Uh, I really, I want to stress that strongly, actually. And anybody in the States, I've actually seen a few comments that people think the storm's going to pick it up and uh, push it off here towards the east, affecting the States with radiation. And you can actually hear a little bit of laughter in my voice with that. Uh, nothing to worry about for you people in the States as far as the radiation. But that is for right now, everybody. Thanks again for watching here at WesternPacificWeather.com. If you do find this video useful or you do want to share it out to anybody else, please hit the like button or share it. Uh, definitely does help us out a lot in getting this information out there. And also, if you have any questions, comments, or suggestions, please post them in the comment box below. And on the screen, I am going to be putting some other annotations for our other channels at Western Pacific Weather. Uh, please do go and check out the website as well. Plenty of information continuing to flow on Super Typhoon Gucho and all the other weather systems out here in the Western Pacific. So thanks again. Please stay safe out there. And lastly, I do want to remind you we are not an official agency at Western Pacific Weather. Uh, do check in with the Japan Meteorological Agency for all of you here in Japan. That is the official WMO uh, source out here in the Western Pacific. All right. Have a great day.